Hi guys, this is the Basic Gamer and I hope you guys are doing well and having a fabulous time. So we're here to check out our Blood Flame site build Stormcaller Edition and this was suggested to us by Nblaze on YouTube. So big thanks to Nblaze. And what is the difference? Well, we are using the Stormcaller Ash of War on our gravesite upgraded plus 25 with the quality affinity. And just to quickly show you on the map, you got to come to Stormwell Castle and then next to the secluded side of Grace. There is a teardrop scarab that you need to knock out and you'll get the Ash of War. And for the grave side, well, I use the lake facing cliff side of grace. And there's a graveyard here with three skeletons and then two over here to farm the grave site. And it took me about, well, 30 minutes with 112 discovery. I hope you have a better run. And we're using Dragon Communion Seal Upgrade plus 10 because we will be using the Golden Vow, Flame Grant Me Strength and Blood Flame. Blade incantations, Kina Mask for a bit of fashion, and it also gives three points in dexterity. And for the Beast Champion Armor, well, it's got good poison, physical damage negation. In the Talisman's Department, we got the Winged Sword Insignia, Melisand's Prosthesis, Jard of Alexander, and the Fire Scorpion Charm. You can use the Ritual Sword Talisman or the Lord of Blood's Exaltation as well. We'll just go with Fire Scorpion Charm. And we've got the Thorny Crack Tear and Flame Shrouding Crack Tear in the flask of wondrous physic and an upstream flask so that we don't run out and if you check the character status on the right side of the screen we've got most of our points in strength and dexterity and we're using godric's great rune as well it gives five additional points in each attribute that's a total of 40 points makes a big difference though let's just get ready for the dragon we are going straight in and the dragon's right here. That's the dragon. Yes. And this is the dragon's front. This is the front. Okay. Uh oh, it has two faces. Yes. Whoa. -oh. Okay. 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 Whoa, dragon is giving us full electricity shots now. Okay, we need our health. We need our health. We need our health. Dragon is going to throw fire at us. Now he's going to jump. Like that, he's a very naughty dragon. He gives us electricity from everywhere. Let's hope we can get him. Ba ba boom, ba ba bang. Yeah, that's the full. Oh yeah, look at that. Once you get the full blast in, guys, he is gonna be history. And that's my son in the background. Uh, he uh, wanted to sit, and he was supposed to be quiet, but he managed to do well so far. But a little bit of talking is okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, he got us. He got us there. Watch out for this one. And then give him... Give him... Before he takes off. Look at that scared dragon. He's so scared of us. He is so scared. Okay. The trick over here is... Keep running towards the side. And then dodge at the last second. To avoid that. Now he's going to take off again because he is so scared of us. He's so scared. Look at that. Scared dragon. Dragon is scared. He's going to come back down. He's going to come back down. Come on. There he is. Okay, now keep running. Keep running. Where is he? Yeah, that's his laser. So what I do is I just keep running. And then just keep jumping. He got us there. Yeah. Okay, dragon. Come on, dragon. We are not gonna let this dragon go. He is giving us this teleportation of his. It's just get behind him and he does the fire. He's gonna take off again. He's gonna take off again. Come on, buddy. Get up. Dragon is. Yeah. Dragon. Dragon has also been buffed up or something. But we are gonna get on with it. Full, if you get the full blast, see, if you get the full blast, it is bye bye, dragon. Bye bye, dragon. Okay, he is down. 
So I don't know guys, like the Storm, Caller, Ash of War, I have had a bit of trouble with it. The best one with this build so far is the Spinning Strikes I would say, but maybe I'm just going wrong with it. But it seems to be a little bit, you know, like if you get the full blast in, it's pretty good, but it's pretty slow. So, I mean, thanks to Endblades for the suggestion and it's, it worked really well against Melania. I had trouble against the Elden Beast and I had trouble against the Dragon Lord as well, but it does the job. I think this was like attempt number five or six and it has done the trick. So you guys check it out and see how you go. But I would recommend the Spinning Strikes Ash of War for this build because I've found that to be the best one. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Until next time, happy gaming, take care and bye-bye.